today's story is about Kieran Franklin, who's recently is in the news pertaining to this. I'm wearing clothes. I'm about to go to my grandfather's house. I'm being abused right now. I've been assaulted by my own mother. He also appears to be having some type of altercation with his mother. Clay I'm wearing clothes. I'm about to go to my grandfather's house. I'm being abused right now. I've been assaulted by my own mother. This is on live. You're on live, you guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm going live just so I make sure I'm protected right now. Y'all let the world know. My mama just already assaulted me. They're trying to take me to some hospital. This is crazy. This is crazy, bro. No. I'm looking for protection. I'm being protected. You won't call the police right now. You won't call the police. Look, look, look. This is for my protection. Ain't no cameras here. You've already assaulted me. So, just like, 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 this, this is my mother. She, she, she trying to take me to a hospital. But she don't have no bond, no business with me. No relationship. This is crazy. No. Call the cops. You've already assaulted me. Stop. No. No, I'm getting my stuff. No, y'all won't call the cops. I need to be protected. I'm trying to. I just, I just pulled the truck up. You don't. You have no business here. You have no. I was called over here. You was called over here. I was called over here. You was called over here. You, what? You, what? You, why not keep talking? No, I was called over here. Tell, tell the world I need help. Where are we going? Did you pray for me? Yeah. Trying to grab my phone. Stop, stop assaulting me. Stop assaulting me. No. I want my money back. Give me my money back. So then please peacefully let me get my things so I can leave the premises in peace. He's not coming. I'm a, I'm a grown man. This is my, y'all supposed to be family. Y'all have no faith. Y'all have no faith. It's ridiculous, bro. Who put her hands on this crazy. Assault me and want to tell me I need to go to the hospital, bro. It's crazy, bro. I should not be represented like this. This is crazy, bro. I'm busy. We're stepping on sacred grounds here, so before we go any further, I would like to start with prayer. Alright, so I need someone to come up here and pray for me. And um, I have someone in mind that'll be perfect. Now, I just want to make a comment. Um, a lot of people say a lot of things about the person who I want to pray. But I think he does the awesome job with praying. I know a lot of people think that he's being more um, faith than anything for clout. But I think when he prays that it's from a genuine place, I really like it. And I hope that you do too. And so if we could have um, Andy. Caldwell, come up here and pray for us real quick before we start. It feels so good. And I know there's only a few that, that know that know for sure. It feels so good to have peace. It feels so good to be saved. Oh, I know I got some saved on here. I got some sanctified people on here. And it feels good to be saved. You, you don't have to worry about Nobody coming to your front door, your back door. The only person that's coming through the house with me is Jesus. Ain't nobody coming in the front door. Ain't nobody sneaking in the hotel. Ain't nobody traveling, trying to see. Because let me tell you something. The Bible say, if I go back, there are going to be several demons. But let me tell you something. I don't even think about not going back. Because the Bible say, to renew your mind with the word. Renew your mind with the word. Hallelujah. So I got to renew my mind with the word. That means I got to renew my mind with a scripture. And my favorite scripture is, I can do all things through Christ who has strengthened me. Hallelujah. Amen. 
Okay, so as we can see here that um, when we think of Mr. Caron, um, I thought of this young lady here. And um, her name is, I believe, Latanya Young. This is Dr. Dre's daughter. And this is Kiron Franklin, who we saw in the clip earlier. Um, so both of them are having situations. They both come from the same sort of tree or the same sort of fruit. Their parents are rich entertainers. One is gospel, one is secretary or secular. And, um, but both of these are grown children that were privileged, although they are black. We can talk about black people being privileged, but um, it seems like, you know, I, I, I don't want to speak on Cameron um, because as it, as it shows here, he's 33. Um, if people don't know, his father is um, Kurt Franklin. Kurt Franklin won several Grammys. So that means he really earned his keep. You know, no one can ever follow behind either one of these men, Kurt Franklin or Dr. Dre. So the kids naturally have a lot of pressure on them, naturally. And I think that's just what's going on with um, Kurt Franklin's son. He's just, there's a lot of pressure to you know have such a great father a lot of black boys don't even know their father name but you know your father name and you can recognize him in a crowd and he probably can recognize you so i think that on that sense we should just give god thanks now evidently Something happened to where Caron seemed a little disrespectful to his parents, or seemed for me, for me, he seemed to be a little ungrateful. Because to tell someone when you're 33 years old, you know, to tell your parent that you did a horrible job raising me. You know, it's like, what do you mean by that? Are you saying that because you feel like you should be in a better place than you are? And if that's the case, it would be really terrible. And I think that we really should pray for Karen's parents of having to deal with such an ungrateful child that's like, you know, you're the reason why I'm not better off in life. Because... Here's the takeaway for me. If, Karen, if you was 90 years old, would you still have this same message? And you may have a little bit of anger, a little bit of trauma. Who, who's not traumatized? We're in the middle of, of a lot of serious stuff going on in society. So that's not an excuse for... You know, not pulling your own weight, you know. Um, you want someone to do this and that. You know, we all been there. We all need someone to do this, that for us so that we can be this, that, and the third. But, you know, we also can put all of our eggs in one basket. The only one basket you can do that with that I know of is God. But when God works through people, I mean, you can't. You know, beggars can't be choosers in so many words, you know. I know the word says God will never have you begging uh, um, and um, forsaken. But that may not be for every twist and turn, you know. It may not look like that. It spiritually is there, but, you know, we have to get there and, and be willing and able for God. So I think both of them should give, the parents should give the, themselves a pat on the back. 
because you know um, the good news is is that you are here to be with your kids to help them in their adult stage in life to learn how to you know cope with people that you may disagree with but you can't burn bridges and so to the kids you know be happy that you know your, your parents not everybody can afford to give their kids this that and a third so just you know go ahead and just just be happy you know kind of this kind of reminds me of the prodigal son on, on so many different levels but um that's a piece of what I was thinking about, you know, as this pertains to Mr. Kiron. Um and everything else that's going on. But I hope that they work everything out and um it all turns out swell and we can see them you know on TV I would love to do interviews with everybody you know I'm trying to build up my channel and everything so please subscribe like sh share share this with your family and uh, thank you so much for watching